evidently the uh, the test drive was a failure. The, the the guy working on it had said that they got out and uh, st just took off and it didn't shift gears. So it's uh, what they what they call in limp mode. And after some investigation, they looked and found that they had broken the wiring harness. So here I am in Cheyenne, yet one more night, renting a hotel room while they wait for a wiring harness to get flown in. So it's like the continuing saga. Hopefully that uh, wiring harness will come in overnight and they'll put it in and I'll be on the road in the morning. I have another 18 hours just to make it back home. I'd like to do that before the weekend. And it's Wednesday evening right now. So, I mean, two big days, two nine-hour drives. Not too exciting because you don't get to see nothing then. and You're just tearing through the countryside. But it is what it is. I will have a new rebuilt transmission. Dual high capacity coolers, new solenoid pack, a warranty, and I should yo oh, and also a new wiring harness, and then I'll be back on the road. Let's hope that's all it takes. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't get snowed in. Right now we got a lot of weather moving in. Uh, it's coming from the west, so I would be heading into it. It's, uh, I, I have chains, but I really don't want to chain up or find out that these chains aren't going to fit the current tires. I don't know. I need to check that out before I go. But anyhow, I figured I'd give you all that update. And uh, here we are, just rambling on. Stationary rambling. I'll talk to you later.